This is Gran Turismo's most bizarre update. You can race a Japanese ambulance by watching their live streams to earn the ambulance early and a six-star engine relay ticket. So anyways, let's check out this new ambulance that I managed to receive early because of this event. So we go to the garage, and in the gift section we got these two three-star relay tickets from me warming up earlier, and the viewer's gift from watching the Nations Cup livestream, which is the High Medic, the Toyota High Medic, and the Manufacturer's Cup, the six-star engine relay ticket from watching the Manufacturer's Cup livestream. So let's check out this relay ticket to see what can we get. So we're a frickin' six-star general. And they're all engines. Wow, they're about the same. They're like V6 engines? Well, we got that one. <laughs> and this engine is uh, Pagani Hoira. Recommended retail price about three quarters of a million dollars. Yes, please. Can I engine swap this? And of course, the main event. Let's check out the freaking Toyota Ambulance. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just light bar as so. He's got a helmet on and his freaking racing gear, the Toyota High Medic, the 2021 model. So, okay. And here is the High Medic, over 6,000 pounds, four wheel drive, and makes 157 horsepower. What? <laughs> the damn ambulance talks? Are you kidding me, man? 2.7 liters? Hold on. Rev it, please. Hmm. Little beefy 2.7 liter. Can you do it again? Hell yeah, do that again. And the seats are covered in plastic. Probably because you don't want to get any like bodily foods, organs, or whatever on you as the medics are working in Japan. And real quick, uh, you can tune the goddamn ambulance weight reduction. We lose about 900 pounds and increase it by about 20 in the PP value, about 23. What, getting rid of the freaking defibrillator? The gurney and all that stuff that we're getting rid of, and use comfort medium tires, let's go up to the extreme levels, and, uh, <laughs> nitrous oxide? New- <laughs> Oh my god. This freaking update made me get back on Gran Turismo after a two- roughly two-month hiatus of not playing this game because of it being quite sterile and everything. We could literally turbocharge this thing and gain another 150 horsepower, make it 300 horsepower. Well, let's do that in a second. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's just do a regular race and then tune this bad boy. So here we are at the Tokyo Expressway with the goddamn ambulance. <laughs> it looks like everybody's driving the freaking high medic. Yeah. And we got these people behind me too. <laughs> Oh my god, this is ridiculous. And how do I turn the siren on? Okay. Uh, what? What the hell are you saying in Japanese to get out the way or what? I don't know, but okay, here's the interior. So I'm kind of figuring out now it's a square button of my Thrustmaster T150 controller with my Thrustmaster TLCMs and everything. So we're making a pass on another high medic. Get out of my way, Cunningham and Mr. Brazilian. Move, Mr. Brazilian. So this is flat out bizarre that frickin' Polity just said like, yeah, why the hell not add a frickin' Japanese ambulance because Americans will get so hyped because of this. And people outside of Japan and inside Japan too. So look at that, we're making some gains and into the top three right now. We got two Jap- get out of my way, dude. Yeah, punt that bastard to a wall. Drop back, dude. Now we got these two Japanese people. Let's even get a run on them. And here I go in the inside, in the first place. Screw you. It's been a while. I mean, I haven't even played freaking Gran Turismo in a couple months on this wheel, so that pretty much explains why I hit the wall. And coming up to the start and finish line, we beat these dudes by about 14 seconds. Nobody's behind me! <laughs> Man, these people suck at driving the ambulance. Damn, 20 seconds for Wise, uh, the German dude. Well, anyways, let's see if we can tune this thing at the custom garage thingy or whatever. All right, let's see if we can tune this bad boy. Let's go to turbochargers real quick. So let's check out the medium. So 330 PP, 286 horsepower, about 300 pounds feet of torque. How about a high end? 319, mm, I guess a medium will do, I guess. Uh, let's see what a low one costs, let's see. 
Uh, two thir- uh, 267? No, not really. So, medium will have to do. And let's man up and do a racing ball for 297. That's what we're talking about. And how about the intercooler? 306 horsepower. Now we're still talking. And let's keep doing to the rest up in here. Alright, so the ambulance has been fully tuned up at 422 horsepower, 381 pounds feet of torque, got some medium racing tires, and a PP value about 555. So let's see if I can go to the GT Auto to see if I can put a body kit on this bad boy. So here we are at GT Auto. We could do the wheels, uh, custom parts. So well, first let's check the paint car real quick. Dark Flakes. Let's see if we can repaint this thing and, uh, Supra. And... Can I see the ambulance, please? Let's see if I go in here. Uh, it wants me to pay for it. Really? No, I want to see the ambulance and what it's like. Custom parts. Let's see here. Th the front. Oh my god, I swear to god. Oh my god, we could put a front, like, lip thingy here, and... Is that, like, an under tray for B, I think? So anyways, by type A, put a freaking front lip in this bad boy. The sides, let's see here, uh... Not much, you gotta get rid of the little window guard, like the reflector and the mud flaps, really. How about the rear? Let's see, the rear will... Get rid of the back bumper altogether, it's stupid. And unfortunately, it looks like you cannot do a wing whatsoever. Oh, that sucks. So I know this is gonna be pretty stupid up in here, so let's see if I can put my name in the Asia Oceania Championship, where we have to go against some Japanese South Korean cars with suggested PP value of a 600 and see if my car, my ambulance, can go against, like, an NSX, Supra, uh, Subaru, or whatever up in here at the Tokyo Expressway for our first race. Alrighty, so here we go with the Toyota Hybenic. We're in 16th place at the back of the pack. There goes my light bars. <laughs> oh my god, okay, we got an interior review. Accelerate. Oh my god. Yep, this is a sleeper ambulance at six gear. Oh my god. Uh, do we have more than one gear? Uh, nope. Nope. Seventh gears are uh, at six gears. No seventh gear. So, um, we're gonna reach its top speed like right about now. It's past Mr. Civic. Get him away with Mr. Civic. The Civic Type R Limited Edition, the FK8. Stop cussing. Yeah, we're topped out. I think I should adjust. Yeah, he's on my ass. Let's just get out of here and try to adjust my top speed, like, due to some tuning. So look at right here, the top speed is set to 140 kilometers per hour, which is under 100 miles an hour. So let's just up this to like maybe 240, I guess. So measure, we'll just change. Nope, let's change my PP value. I guess 240? Mm, 260 will do. 260 will do. Let's jump into a race and go with this setup. All right, let's see this new setup. Okay, second gear, still third gear, and here we go. Third gear into fourth gear now and into the corner okay i think this new setup we got a lot of room and civic juke his ass out and pass mr civic to the 14th place car the mr2 gts with that shick snap over steer uh, the car is no longer made anymore because toyota said the day me and we're Damn it, I got passed by the Civic, but we were going 124 miles an hour, and... Oh, man. The brakes feel nice. Here's the Grady 6. Pass the MR2 and the Grady 6. And... Damn, these tires... Wow, this feels really nice, like, cornering-wise. It feels like a regular, like, race car. And is that a Supra? No, it ain't. So, coming up to this hairpin, 120 miles an hour, hard to brakes, around on the 125 marker. Damn, these brakes are good. I'm just pumping on the brakes. I'm not, like, consistently on the brakes. Like, my foot consistently on the brake pedal. It's just, like, pump, 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 and it really slows way down. I really like this setup. And again, we're capped at 120-something miles an hour. There goes the 370Z at the R33. Let's tell the Aussie boy to get out of my way. Everybody get out of my way. Watch this. Right-hander. Dude. Get out of my way. Yeah, move, bitch. I'll tell you to move out the way, yeah? All right, we're in the final lap here, so let's pass the fire department RX-7, the Kokobun. Come on, Kokobun. I want to pass you, so we're in sixth place, and we got a lot of ground to catch up as we're about two and a half seconds from the leader, and everyone's pulled away from me yet again. 
I think I'll probably reduce the top speed gearing in the next race. Like, maybe to like 230, 240 kilometers per hour rather than 260. I think it'll probably work out. And if not, I'll probably have to blame probably on the setup of the turbocharger being like mid RPM friendly rather than being high RPM friendly. I don't know if that'll make a big difference with this setup. All right, boyos, here's a freaking battle. Break hard here, a battle for the freaking podium position. What was that? Was that the car backfiring? So I got the RX-7, no problem. We got the uh, we got the Z car, a NSX. What is that in third place? A Honda NSX, uh, Toyota, uh, Honda, a uh, Honda Acura, one to two. All right, here we go. Get out of my way. Ram the NSX and just, dude, get out of the way. Amuse Nismo, three three eighty Z. What NSX Type R to Honda, and is that a Supra? No, it ain't Supra. Uh, Subi. Damn it. Oh, damn it. If. I had a better run right there. I probably would have passed the Subaru at the very last corner, but unfortunately, um, uh, block, 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 good. We'll settle for second place in our first race. All right, so here's my second race of the good old Fuji Speedway, and I did drop the top speed to 230 kilometers per hour, which is like 130-something or whatever, and bing! Here's our first start of, oh, second start of second race overall, first lap, and whatever with this car. So, brakes, now. And pop a little, Hardy, James Harden. Damn, you, you're too damn slow in the corner exits. This is pretty much what's good about the aimers that I got tuned up here. It's very, very great in terms of, like, the corner entry and exit and agility. And that's it, and Grady Six. Move, Mr. Grady Six. Yeah. See an ambulance pull over. Yeah, this pretty much sucks about this, and uh, yeah, so reduce it. Yep, it's worth it. Reduce this to 230 kilometers per hour. Yeah, it didn't really make that much of a damn difference other than like some minor acceleration on it stuff, but it seems like the actual top speed, quote unquote, top speed for the ambulance is 120 miles per hour. No matter how you tune the turbo tur or the, uh, the transmission, that's what it is, no matter what you do with it. And amuse. I'm so amused. 380 RS Superlegra. And look at this. Frickin' dive bombed on his ass. These cars can't do it, and <laughs> that's what they're really stuck with. They just had to brake quite early because of them not having uh, good brakes, unlike mine. It'd be with a Thrustmaster steering wheel set up, I don't know if he'd make a uh, humongous difference or whatever, but it's, it is what it is, we're in the top three. Make a left-hander, uh, a little bit too hard but right there, but whatever. Let's see if I can get in front of the, is that a BMW Supra and the Subaru, again. So here is lap number three, he had the fastest lap briefly that Yakamanka, who that? Well, whatever. Now I got my fast lap with just under two minutes. Uh, 1 minute 58 seconds, 198 milliseconds. Go. Alright, no pressure. I guarantee you I'll probably pass these two people because this course is pretty much, uh, like, focused on just the agility, the handling, and all that good stuff. Not much at top speed, unlike the previous track. Alright, Mr. Supra. Alright, Mr. Supra. Hey, is that a Supra? No, that's a BMW. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Watch out. And the... Subaru. Damn, a little bit too hard on the brakes right there. I should have let off a little bit and had a better momentum right there, but we're, yeah, we're okay. But he's still inside. He's still on my outside. He's still outside. Look at that. He's still outside. Please let me pass you. It's got the. Uh, hey, 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 hey! That goddamn Subaru or uh, the Supra wiped me out. Oh, hell no. Dude, this is war, dude. You know what? Villain arc time. Cut through the corner. I am not accepting any of this. This bastard just wiped me out. Like, what are you doing? That is dirty. Hey, you. You. Get nuked. Bastard, that's what you get. Get back in line. <sighs> well. Uh, uh, no. God damn it. If the soup. Yeah, the Supra. If he didn't wipe me out back there, him. I definitely would have had a run and would have been in first place in this race. But it turns out with that dirty move, it ain't happening whatsoever. So unfortunately, we're the first and second race. We finish in second place. Hopefully, we can turn this around in our third race. Yeah, screw you, you piece of sh.
Yeah, yeah, look, second place after a dirty move right there, and, uh, hold on a second. I got 20 points, he's got 24, so I think he has to be, like, third, fourth place or worse. I think in third place or worse that Miyazono, yeah, Miyazono has to be for my third race so I can guarantee a first place victory for this championship. So he's first, first there, I'm second, second, he's got to finish fourth, I think four for less, I don't know. All right, all right, so here is the final race in this championship. We're in freaking Austria. Good day, bait. Let's have another shrimp on the barbie, says Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber, because, well, he doesn't know the difference between Australia and Austria, as we are in Australia at Mount Panorama, the Mount Panorama circuit. Wow. I got no by breaking zones on this course. I was way too timid on the entry right there. Wow. Uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll learn that next lap. Or just throughout this course. Whatever. Okay, so here's this bend. Come on, Mr. Shivik. Mr. Shivik. Please, Mr. Shivik. No? Yes? Yes, got him. And get the MR2. Come on. Okay, let off a little bit. And here we go. Booped him, booped the stamp oversteer car, about forced him in the wall, and Grady Six, the usual suspects in this case, just passed him no problem, but not the rest of the competition. Hello, Genesis brothers. I'm coming in hot. Damn, whack that Hyundai Genesis. And almost did to the Genesis G70, the knockoff Hyundai, the luxury spinoff of Hyundai, the luxury brand, kind of like what Nissan did to Infiniti, but in this case with Hyundai and Genesis, they just did it like, what, four, five years ago? They made the Genesis marquee for their luxury lineup or something like that, five years, I think. All right, coming in our final lap, we're in the top five pretty much yet again with the Subaru and the FD RX-7, so break here, a little bit. Good, whack the Subaru and ram the fire department RX-7 with my boy Kukabun, not Kofi Cockburn, where my cock's burning. And seeing that, oh, Miyazono is uh, second place, but uh, seeing that he's in second place, I kind of have a plan. I'm thinking about ramming this dude probably into like third or fourth place the moment I see him, so Jesus, that was way too early on the break. So my plan is either at the, like, near the end of the course, I'm going to whack this dude, like, miss a chicane on purpose, whack this dude, so I can make him lose, like, a place or two. My god, I blame the visibility. Look, look at this. I can't even see much jack out right now. I am about to say, when I get the opportunity, whack that dude in a chicane, in a corner, or whatever, just so he can drop down. Hey, be a yonzo! Banzai, bitch! Get out of here, and look, wiped him out, and is that a super again? God damn, hope karma is not coming back to me after doing that. All right, make the pass, and good, first place. Oh my god, I can't even see Jack. I'm like, this is John Cena stuff here. You can't see me, I can't see the road in front of me other than my headlights. Oh no, make the block. I need first place, but we'll just make it harder on him. I'm just going to purposely block him for a bit, lose his momentum, and probably let him pass right here. Yes. And then I will purposely make a late break entry. Ish. Make a whack, and uh, let me do... Da, 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 da. Oh, no. That John Cena-ism karma came back to me. Well, second place again, and, uh, Mia Yonzo's at fourth. Yes, my plan did work, but I gotta make this block, so, brake hard, left turn, stomp the curb, straight, and Kawakami is in third, and Mia Yonzo's fifth! Mia Yonzo's fifth, please! Second place, now! Yes, we're in second place for the third time in a row in this tournament, so, second to ND, we in second place, no, we in next place, we in next place, Bad bitch contest. We had next place says that uh, two chains. Fifth place. Mia Yonzo's fifth place. My plan did work. I agree. Fist pump, dude. The plan worked. So what are the stats? I tied with Mia Yonzo, but it's going to credit me for winning the overall tournament. I swear to God. With Mia Yonzo in second place, uh, 15,000 credits. <laughs> 
I was first overall by consistently uh, finishing in second place while Bia Yonzo got first, first, and fourth, or fifth at BMW, M4, and M3. So what am I going to get? A pick, uh, let's do first one. And it's going to be E46, not the E30, or the E whatever the 2014 Beamer is. It's an M4, not an M3. Look at this, the last somewhat great BMW, the E46. And people say the E92 was an absolute mid until BMW lost its touch after that. So with the new Toyota High Medic, the new ambulance you can get early as of this video's publication date, it's pretty much your run-of-the-mill ambulance from Japan in this time period, pretty much like any other ambulance in that country. When you get the ambulance, of course, it's slow with that 2.7 big at 150-ish horsepower, but you can tune the living hell out of this bad boy to get over 400 horsepower, to shred around a racetrack, or get somebody to point A to point B without dying on anyone's watch getting somebody to the hospital. So anyways, that'll do it with Gran Turismo 7. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.